Good morning, everybody. Rise and shine. This morning, I want to talk to you about the goodness of what you're reading, because we read the Word of God, and we absolutely cannot wrap ourselves around the promises that He wants to give us. And this makes it almost impossible to understand because we don't think we're worthy. We don't think, well, that's not for us because the promise that it gives you are so large, so big, something you can't wrap your mind around that that's for you and you actually have this. So we never end up walking it because it's just too good to be true that God would give all of this to us free. And, and so I want to explain one of the scriptures that is so powerful, so wonderful, too good to be true, that we don't ever walk in it. And that's Ephesians 1.19. And it says, so that you can know and understand. Now, this is Paul pleading with you. He is praying for you. Yes, he's praying for you. All the saints, all the believers, Paul prayed for all of them, then and in the future. And he says, so that you will know and that you will understand what is the immeasurable? So he's trying to tell you something that is you. he just can't measure. No one can measure. So that's hard to retain if you can't even measure it. In our little minds, we're thinking, I don't understand. It just says immeasurable. That's so big, so large. Nothing can stop it. It's just too big. But we have it. And it says we're immeasurable and an unlimited and surpassing greatness. So he's telling you how wonderful this is. It's unmeasurable, it's unlimited, it has surpassing all greatness. That alone makes you understand, not makes you understand what's going on because it's too big for us, it's too good. It's too good for us, we think. But this is for you. And it says the greatness of his power, surpassing greatness, of his power, whose power? Holy Spirit's power, Jesus's power, his power in us and for us. Do you understand what he's saying? The same power that the Holy Spirit has is in you and is for you. And it's already been demonstrated by the working of Jesus's power that you've seen in the Bible. This is what that scripture is saying. You have unlimited, surpassing greatness power that's in you because Jesus died to give you that Holy Spirit power. This is so good to be true. It's like, oh, no, I, I don't have that. I don't feel like I have that. But you have to know you have to access this by the faith in which you have in Jesus Christ because that's how you access the promises of God is through faith. So let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I want to access the power that you've given me. I want to access and understand, Lord God, the surpassing, the greatness, the unlimited power that you've given me that lives in me. I want to live differently. I want to live and walk in the power that you've given me. I want to hear your voice more clearly. I want to understand the spiritual realm more clearly, Lord God. That's part of my inheritance. So I'm asking you to open doors for me so I can see, hear, and understand what you're trying to say to me, Lord God. I want to feel and, and actually get the sense of the true healing that you promised in the Bible. I want my body healed. I want my heart healed. I want my legs healed. I want my cancer healed in Jesus' name that I want, Lord God, and that you promised surpassing greatness power that lives in me. That means healing power lives in me. So, Lord God, I thank you that I walk in divine healing, that I am healed in all areas of my mind, body, and soul. I have complete and total salvation, wholeness, Lord God, in my body, wholeness, Lord God, in my spirit, and wholeness in my mind. Thank you, Lord God. These promises are mine, and I access them by the faith I have in you. In Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Crown, make it a great rise and shine today in Jesus Christ, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.